Okay, David, here's my uh, ball on here. Um, you can tell, you can see all of this is new um, rust and scratches and stuff. Uh, the ball wasn't all scratched up like that beforehand. You can see from the top, it's all that new rust is on there. Then the old rust, um, I mean, it's not even, that's still really smooth. And then everything else around it is, is quite pitted. Um, you can see the ball size on there, two and five sixteenths. And then you can see up here, this is where we were having a beat on the on the stinger itself, trying to knock that, to separate the the hitch from the ball. Um, we were never able to do that that way. So what we had to do is just disconnect the pin, pull it, and then uh, finagle the the trailer up and and out. We had to try it a couple times because you know. You know where is is straight on this when there's the load on on everything and having to get the the trailer at the right height and stuff like that trying to guess that so um, I'm concerned that um, that there are some uh, issues with this with this trailer I, I don't know you guys are trailer people um, but uh, I've never had a trailer act like this before where you cannot get it off the ball um, and so. Uh, I'm open to suggestions and stuff like that. Um, this might have to be something that we take back to uh, the trailer company there in Georgia. But, um, I mean, I think that you'd kind of be frustrated if you just spent $140,000 and the, the item that carries the equipment around has issues. So, um, I, I think that you guys are going to make this right. I hope that you guys do, somehow. Um, but uh, we need to uh, be able to have reliable equipment so uh, let me know what you think of these videos and we'll go from there thanks David